now we're going to work with panels. Now, panels I like a lot because you can hide certain content that's still on the page, but only show it while you're still on the page, and it kind of reveals that information. So let me go ahead and just pull up this simulator, and I'm going to take this, and I'm going to show you what a panel does exactly. So here we have our header. We have a button, and if I tap on that, it'll actually um, open up the content, and I can see the content right here. And this can be any content that I want. I can have a list view in there that has a bunch of different buttons that takes me to different pages, um, and then I can tap anywhere to, to make that come back over there. So that's what a panel is. Let's go ahead and uh, hide that, and let's go into our HTML content. I'm going to go ahead and uh, minimize that. And I'm going to create, first of all, a button that's going to expand this panel. So I'm going to say href, and then within that href, we don't know what the panel name is yet, so we're just going to hit um, a hashtag. But we're going to add a class of equals, and this is UI, and let's get rid of, let's get uh, these quotes. And so we say UI-BTN, and we're going to say inside of this text is going to be open panel. And that's all we're going to have within the content. Now, since the panel is not within the content area, we want to make sure that it's not just kind of sitting within these two different div tags of the content. The panel is going to be its own div tag. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add this panel and we're going to say div tag. And then within that div tag, we're going to add some attributes. We're going to first of all say data dash role and we're going to assign the role of panel. This is going to be a panel content. Now we want to make sure that we give it an ID because this is how we know to open the panel from any other elements. So we're going to say ID and then we're going to say this is the panel area. And I'm just, you can name this pretty much whatever you want, but I'm going to say panel area here. Now I'm going to add another attribute and we're going to add how the data actually gets re uh, displayed. So there's three different types of displays. There's a reveal overlay and push i believe i'll have to look that up here let me and you can look this up if you go to jquery mobile's website so i'm going to go to jquerymobile.com click on the demos section go over to jquery mobile's 1.4.2 demos or above and uh, scroll down to where it says panel widget i'm going to click on panels and then these are the three different types we have overlay which overlay will actually take and place your content over Reveal will push all of the content over and it will reveal this content that just kind of stays static. Push will push both the, the panel content and the actual main content over. So we have overlay, reveal, and push. So the data display, I'm going to go ahead and just set this to reveal. Let me just make sure that's, yep, so we have reveal here. And now we can go to the data, the panel position. Now the data dash position will reveal the content either on the left or the right hand side. So let me go ahead and just by default just say left here. Now if I hit save and preview I'm going to open this panel but you'll notice nothing has actually happened. Well I need to place some content inside of the panel so I'm going to place hello just for an example here. Let's wrap this up in a P tag just so we have uh, content. And so, but we need to call this area. Now the way that you call this area is like you do with other pages. You take the ID that is going to do, that is going to open, and you place that right, in fr right after the hashtag for the button. And so now if I go ahead and preview this, now once I've clicked on it, it'll open that content and reveal my text there. So it's as simple as that. You just have to make sure that the button that opens it, it actually has the same ID as the panel that's going to, for the href has the same ID as what the ID of the panel is. Well, let's go ahead and change this. Instead of reveal, let's try push here. So I'm going to say push, and now if I hit uh, refresh, it's going to push the content over. Well, now let's try overlay. Let's go ahead and refresh this now, and now it's going to kind of take over the content a little bit until I click anywhere else, and that will automatically take it back there. Well, I personally like reveal the best, so I'm going to change that back. But let's say I want the content to come over from the right-hand side. Well, I'm going to just change that left over to right, and now if I hit refresh, 
now it opens from the right hand side I did not actually need to move the content anywhere the div tag it just automatically does it well if I want to copy this panel and let's go ahead and paste it down the uh, in the same we're still in the same uh, page ID here but now we're gonna say panel area 2 and we're gonna say hello to and so now we're gonna have another button and I'm gonna copy and paste that button it says open panel right what I'm doing is I'm actually going to take this content, this uh, data content, and I'm going to have this on the right hand side. So now if I hit save and preview, I can see open right panel. Let's um, actually take this and make sure that uh, the second button opens that panel. So I need to make sure that this matches. So panel area two and uh, the ID of that is panel area two. So now let's try it again. So it'll open panel area two from the right hand side, but if I go up to this other tab button, it'll open up the panel from the left hand side. So we can have a panel on the left and we can have a panel on the right. And so we can have multiple panels on one page. You really can only do, um, well, let me, let me try one more. And let's see if we can add a panel area three. And so let's go ahead and try this hello three. Copy the button up here. And we're going to change the panel area href here to three. And we're going to say third. And let's just go ahead and do that for now. Now what happens there, you can see that it's still coming up on the right and it says hello three. But now this says hello two. So you could have pretty much however many panels you want. And depending, depending on the button that they click, open up that, uh, that panel that goes with that button. Um, so it's up to you how many panels you want. Just keep in mind that it's going to make your page content a whole lot bigger if you have tons of panels going on here. But that's how you get a panel to open inside of uh, jQuery Mobile. In later videos, we're going to talk about swipe events. And the swipe events, you can actually open up the menu. So if you swipe left, it'll open up. If you swipe right, it'll open up the right panel. And we'll talk about that in a later movie. Hey, this is Jeff Bat with Learning Dojo. Thank you for taking the time to watch my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to click on the subscribe button below. And if you want to see my full courses of different software applications and get all my sample files and my downloads and templates and stuff like that, uh, go to learningdojo.net and you can sign up for any of the courses there online. Um, and be able to access those downloads and everything. So again, that's learningdojo.net. But if you want to see more YouTube videos and uh, get the latest updates and everything like that, click on the subscribe button below.